Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be installing this 48 volt 105 amp hour golf cart battery into this golf cart. So let's get started. This is the first time I've actually seen this golf cart and underneath here what we have is we have six 8 volt batteries which makes it a 48 volt golf cart and what we're going to be doing is taking out all these batteries and putting in one 48 volt battery pack and we're changing it from a flooded lead acid chemistry to a lithium iron phosphate chemistry but the first thing i want to do with this cart is i want to take it out and i want to ride it around a little bit i'm going to see what the maximum speed is i want to also see like the acceleration uh, and just how it handles on these uh current batteries that it has right now all right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna see a side view of this golf cart and I'm gonna display on the screen right up here where uh, our, our max and our, well, I'm gonna show our speedometer. So let's go ahead and get started. 11 miles an hour, 12 miles an hour. Okay, if we look at the screen, uh, it looks like the details. I went 1.12 miles. Uh, the duration was only like a minute and 10 seconds. Uh, the average speed was six miles an hour and the max speed was 13. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and ride this thing uh, and I'm gonna see what the average speed is, uh, see what the maximum speed is. I'm gonna be going a, a, on an uphill to see how bad the speed slows down. Let's just get rolling. On these flatlands, we're getting about 14 miles an hour. We're gonna start going up a hill right now. Yeah, and this hill, it's gone down to 11 miles an hour. We have a downhill coming right now, so we're gonna probably get our fastest speed right here. All right, and here's another downhill. We'll see if we can get faster than 17. Oh, looks like 18. 19. 20, 21. All right. I think that's good enough. Let's turn around and go back. Okay, well, we went a 0.92 mile and the duration was five minutes and the max speed was 21 miles an hour because we were going down this hill right here. Let me go ahead and show it to you. And it looks like our average speed was 13 miles an hour. So we'll see what it's like on the way back. And then we're going to go ahead and replace the battery. Okay, we're going to wait for these cars to go by and then we are going to start up this uphill and we're going to see how fast we can go. Hopefully we'll get like 11 miles an hour. All right, here we go. All right, we're right in the middle of this uphill and we've gone down from 12 to 11 miles an hour. 10, oh, come on. But up this hill, it's going 11 miles an hour. All right, well, we are back at the house. Uh, it looks like our distance was again 0.92 miles. Um, our average speed was 11 miles per hour with a max speed of 19 miles an hour. And the duration was four minutes and 52 seconds. So we are gonna go ahead and replace the battery now. And we're gonna do these tests again to see what the differences are. All right, we just got done taking out the six eight volt batteries that were in the cart. And let's go ahead and see how much they weigh. So yeah, these batteries weigh 63 and a half pounds each. So we're looking at uh, a loss of, of right around 260 and to 270 pounds of weight just from the batteries themselves because the pack we're putting in only weighs 100 pounds. All right, we got the battery installed and here's what it looks like now. As you can see, it uses up, what, about a third of what those old batteries did. And again, we weighed those batteries and they're 60 pounds a piece. So that was 360 pounds of batteries in here. And now it's replaced with one 100 pound battery. So we lost 260 pounds. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do the same test again. We're gonna do a side view of the, of the takeoff and we're gonna see the speedometer. And then we're also gonna run it for that mile and, uh, and see how it runs and our averages on that. does have a lot more pickup. It can get up to that max speed of 13 to 14 miles an hour much quicker. So let's go ahead and take it out and see what it can do on hills. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, the route that we did last time with the old batteries and we will see if we can get a better uh, average mile per hour and a better lower top speed, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and start. Before on these roads, I was only getting about 12, 
12 miles an hour. Now I'm getting 15 to 17. So we've got an increase of speed. All right, now we're going down this bigger hill, which we actually reached like 21 miles an hour on. Okay, I would say that was pretty good. The distance again was 0.92 miles. Our average speed was 14 miles an hour. Our max speed was 23. And again, the duration was three minutes and 57 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so you can see the road. And we're gonna go on, head on back and we'll see what our numbers are there. Uh, and I love how quickly it just jumps up to that 14, 15 miles an hour. And we are halfway up this hill. And it's still going 14 miles an hour. Before, it was only going like 10. We reached the top of that overpass, and it never went below 14 miles an hour. All right, we're on the downhill part. We got 19. That's the max we had last time. Up, oh, we see 20. 21. 22. Okay, with that travel back, it looks like our distance again was 0.92 miles. Our average speed was 14 miles an hour. Our duration was 3 minutes and 55 seconds. I think it was longer last time because I had to wait for a bunch of cars. But our max speed was 22 miles an hour. So with the same mode, this thing has probably gotten over a 10% increase in speed. And when it comes to the average, I would say it's gotten a 15% increase on the average speed. Uh, it usually averaged around 11 to 12, and now it averages around 15. So that's great. As you can see, we got the uh, display right here, which is nicely bolted down. And then underneath, we have the battery pack. We've decided to go ahead and just put this uh, power cord right here and clamp it in between the handles. So that way we can just run an extension cord and everything is right here. So we don't have to worry about, you know, if we're at a friend's house or something like that, we can just use any electrical outlet and not have to worry about bringing our charger with us because the charger is actually bolted down inside the cart also. And we have everything zip tied and everything is secured. I believe the installation is complete and it runs perfect. All right, so whether you have a one-year-old cart or a 25-year-old cart like this guy back here, getting a brand new battery like the uh, EHY 100 amp hour 48 volt lithium iron phosphate battery. If you have any questions about this 48 volt uh, golf cart battery from EHY, please leave them in the comments. I'll have a link to this item in my description. Thank you again for watching this video and have a great day.